muted. <laughs> Got it. Good talk. I was not. Uh, their mics are loud. <laughs> anyway, you want to hear a fun story? I don't know. Do I? I mean, it's up to you. I don't. I don't know if you want to hear a fun story, man. <laughs> sure. What's up? <laughs> so we went to Cincinnati. Like, what is it? Uh, two weeks ago at this point. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so when we were coming back, you know how I got that weird like bump on my face I was saying? Yeah. It felt like a ingrown hair or like a pimple or something initially. But it just like kept getting bigger. And I was like, man, this is so weird. So that's why I assumed it was a bug bite that I got. Like I was like, there's no way like a pimple gets this big. Right. Like, this is crazy. And so the first like few days are bad or fine, like, it's whatever. And like when I'm sleeping on that side of my face, like it hurts. I'm like, what the? It's like this, like I, I haven't had a pimple in a while, I guess. Like maybe a pimple can be this painful, but like, you know, like this freaking hurts. And I'm noticing like, it's like to the size of like a nickel or like a quarter. Like it's getting pretty big on my face. like. Maybe like a finger width away from my ear, like is where it is. Like it's pretty close to my, like pretty far back there, so I can't see it to see how big it is. But like looking in the mirror, I'm like, this thing looks big. Right. So I'm getting these like heat flashes of like I'm waking up like dehydrated, out of my mind, like I can't function. I'm like a liability to fall over while walking, and I'm like, this has to be some sort of like bug bite or something. Like you know, like it can't be like a pimple. Makes sense. So I go to the doctors to get it checked out. And, um, and, lo and we, behold. We, we schedule it and we just like lead with like, oh, we think it's a bug bite, but we like, I don't know what it is specifically, you know? Right. And so that's what we lead with. And they assume like, okay, yeah, it's probably a bug bite. Like he wouldn't like, that's just, it's probably right. And so I need help. Um, yeah. so they prescribe an antibiotic to me. And it's this freaking massive horse pill. Like, massive pill. Like, if you were to like cut off like your pointer finger at your knuckle, like that big of a pill. Like, it's a massive pill. And I'm not very good with swallowing pills. So I swallow it for the first two days. And I'm like, whatever. Meanwhile, those two days are like the worst days I've had so far like i am like literally like waking up and like just like i can't do anything like I, the room spinning i'm super hot not running a fever but like my temperature is clearly elevated right and i'm like this is like really bad like what the hell is happening um and so I'm like, these antibiotics aren't doing, like, anything. And I'm, like, not wanting to take them because I'm bad at taking pills. These are incredibly, like, bad. And they're, like, not gel capsules. They're, like, the actual pills. And they have that, like, oh, super yeah. thin coating. So, like, if they're in your mouth half a second too long, you're tasting it's fucking gone. ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, I, I can't do this. So we go to MedExpress on Friday. And they basically look at it. And they are like, oh, my God, this thing is massive. It's, like, the size of your whole face. And I'm like, what? Like, I got Thanks, right. man. Well, no, look, right, but I can't see it. So I'm like, uh, is it really right. that bad? Like, that seems a little excessive, maybe. But, oh, okay. <laughs> and they're like, my dad makes the joke of, like, oh, yeah, we almost just, like, cut him at home to, like, get it done. And she's like, oh, I wouldn't do that. There's, like, a lot of things that are, like, right there, like, vital veins and stuff that could kill him. And I'm like, what? Like, it's, like, that bad? And they're like, yeah, we recommend you go to, like, the ER. And I'm like, what? Uh. And so we're like, oh, okay, I guess we'll go to the ER. So we go to the ER, and we sit down, and the nurse comes in, and I'm explaining everything to her. And I'm saying, like... At this point, I'm saying, I don't know what it is. Could be a freaking ingrown hair, but it's, like, really big, really squishy at this point. Like, it was really firm, now it's really squishy, and I'm like, I, I don't know what's going on. And so the doctor comes in, and he looks at it, and he goes, oh, yeah, that's just an ingrown hair. And I'm like, what? Like, this whole thing is just an ingrown hair. Like, I'm literally, like, not able to function due to an ingrown hair. And he's like, yeah. Well, this is like pretty bad. And he's like, so you have two options. We can cut it open and just like squeeze some of the like the stuff out and it should 
make you feel better in like a few days. Or you could do like a hot towel and it could take a couple weeks for you to feel better. I was like, what? this is a ingrown hair. This is a hair that was just being a fucking just little kidding. bitch and just not coming out the way it should. That's what I'm dealing with right now. And I'm like, what the hell? So I go, okay, yeah, just like cut it open. Like just let's get this done with. Right. Have you ever paid someone to cut your face? Does that uh, sound like something that you would like, you're, you're thrilled about doing? I'm gonna and go so, with no, but... Yeah, you know, and so I'm saying, say. like, and he's like, oh, are you ready for this? And I'm like, sure. And he's like, that's enthusiastic. <laughs> and I was like, I can't say I'm thrilled about someone cutting my face open. <laughs> right, you're literally just <laughs> thanking me and like, what am I supposed to say? Yes, this is the best day of my life. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not happy about it, obviously. And they have me on a heart rate monitor. Well, like, just that's... to, like, check my vitals and everything. Like, it was like, yeah. a before thing. It's like, when you get in VR, that's what they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so... It's like... I, it was normal. It was like 120 over 80. But let me tell you what, when he got that scalpel near my face, I couldn't see it because it was, like, directly to the right side and I have to look straight forward because the other thing right. was directly on my left side. I can only imagine what those numbers were. I'm sure if a nurse was looking at it, those were heart attack inducing <laughs> levels that were on that screen. I was freaking out. <laughs> and I've never, and so he was saying that we were going to put a local anesthetic on it and then he would cut it. Okay. I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Makes like, sense. I don't want to feel my face getting cut open. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I'm laying there and he has a scalpel in his hand and I'm like, oh, that must, has to be the needle. <laughs> For the local anesthetic, like, you know, like he's not just gonna, gonna send you know, <laughs> he wouldn't do that. That doesn't. Oh, oh, he did. And oh my God, <laughs> I have never experienced. I, I have been lucky. I've never broken a bone or anything. That is the worst pain I've ever experienced in my life. I don't know if you've ever had like a filling or like a, I guess like a tetanus shot, right? Like, you know how when it goes in, like it hurts, but like specifically if you've ever had a, like a filling a cavity they put it into your like they get the novocaine into your mouth into your gum and they have to get like different spots so they angle it so it feels like they're pushing it in even deeper mm. and so like you get this initial pain of it going in and then you get a second burst it was like that on steroids it was he cut it and i was like holy shit this is terrible it felt like he went all the way through my mouth with the second one and i'm like this is the worst thing i'm ever going to experience in my entire life but like, it's probably over, right? He said it's a small incision. It's been going on for like 15 seconds is what it feels like. Like not super long, but longer than I want my face to be being cut for. Makes and he sense. goes even deeper. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, stop. You said it was small. And you're over here freaking shaking my face open. Like, just stop, leave me alone. It was like, literally it was the most painful thing ever. And then when he's like, when he wasn't cutting though, I couldn't feel it. it there was no pain at all. Oh. It was like, like it wasn't like, oh, I cut my hand like from a paper cut. Like this fucking hurts. It was right. once it was done, it was done. I couldn't feel anything. And then he was just squeezing the pus out, and it's on the left side of my face. I'm looking straight forward. I can't see anything. And he's like getting near the end, so I'm like, I'm gonna pick my head up and look over. Dude, three gauze of just fucking dark red. I'm like, are you? That was from Yikes. my face. Like I, I don't feel comfortable right now. <laughs> It was the wildest thing. I was like, this is not okay. <sighs> but I felt fine since then. I just thought I, that was a fun story of like, dude, don't ever get an ingrown hair apparently. That shit fucking sucks. He's got under his eyes, man. <laughs> also, I might have a scar on my face from the cutting because apparently your face is like super shitty at closing cuts, like clean cuts. Right. So that was like one of like the big reasons of him not doing it is like facial scarring. Right. Are these guys like good? Like what the fuck is happening? Uh, well, dude, we sucked that first round. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, everyone just stared at me while I was getting crushed. Yeah. Well, no, but we aren't even doing good this round. Like we're doing kind of fucking ass. I guess we do have a thousand points. Well, these two idiots won't spend their points That's what either. I said, we have a thousand points in. Nice. 
Are you, dude? Fifteen nades. Can these guys chill with the nades, like, just to get something else? Please? <laughs> these guys have to be like a team or something. Like, this is kind of crazy. They don't feel particularly good. They don't feel particularly bad. I don't know. I've been just walking through them. I've just been needed like 400 times. Well, yeah, but they're like playing very together as well. Oh, well, yeah, that's, that's why. Nice. Oh, no, that's the mom thing, I think. Wait, where is this guy? <laughs> I just <got> so confused. <laughs> Dude, I was so confused. I was like, where the fuck I just go? <laughs> We're not gonna let that revive go off, right? No. Can I hide behind this bush? Sick. 301 ain't great. No. No, that was really bad. I also just more wanted to tell the story. That's fair. So I was trying to maintain a thought while well, kind of AFK plan. Mm. I just figured that would be a fun story to tell. If you like the story and want to hear more stories, <laughs> I don't know if I have any I more. I don't. But you should like and subscribe and put a comment saying, I hate Dom, to let me know that you Ow, want more stories. Rude. I will dislike that comment. <laughs> I told you to kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> did you see that? I did. That was hysterical. Alright, I need not a freaking Phoenix though, because. I didn't even bother to look to see if your comment was even accurate. Mine? Yeah. Oh, you said the there tool was a kit toolkit. Box. Dude, it was like in between the pipes in a spot I never would have looked. Oh, there but was actually like, a toolkit there? Awkwardly, yeah. I thought you were talking about like it was the 1 1 where it spawns on top of the three pipes. I thought that's what you were talking about. And I was no, like, no, it was sure. just in the middle of them. I thought you were just being an ass, and I was like, fuck off, Dom. Like, I'm not even. I should have. That's what I thought. That's why I was like, dude, just kill yourself, Dom. I'm not doing this. I would love a shotgun if you. There's a Belgian. Two of them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <sighs> oh, this scar is a P-Mag. But everything else about it is the worst. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that sniper scope. Let me promptly throw it the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, an AA right here. Alright, back. Dealer's choice. Is boy? We're just gonna... Oh, so I did not pick a very good, uh, comp. Oh my god. You're welcome, teammate. At least I care about not letting a crusher just get a free kill. Okay, so yeah, I well, will... Well. I will say it is our... It is partially our teammates literally playing thought within a nautical mile of each other. Dude, what the... What'd you die to? Spoiler. Where's the... Yeah. Where's the AA? Uh, it's on the roof. Okay. Dude, our, uh, oh my lord, dude! I, this is like unreal. The the walker was literally just standing next to me and did nothing. <laughs> did you see that fancy footwork? I did. That was quite nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's not, yeah, it's on the roof. There's attack and nade both on the roof. Okay. Same thing. Right. Dude, this Reaker is literally the worst thing I've ever seen. Oh no, I'm gonna get hit by an exploder. No, I don't want it. Oh! oh I'm so sad! I have a toolkit. Oh. Uh, there's one? I saw two of them. There's one in the house over here. Stick together. Yeah, none of that, buddy. Hey, hey, thank God. Okay. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh, that's a crusher. Super dead. Dude, holy crap. Dude, our team literally... <laughs> One of them had zero kills! Two random kills! 
The guy is literally incompetent. I don't know what to I tell forgot you. I muted them to start the game. <laughs> <laughs> I should have mute them, see what they have to say for themselves. 900 zombies! What the hell? How do you have one player kill? Yeah. We you should change the mode, man. Yeah, cause how do we die so quick as a zombie, but they take like, seven clips just to get halfway yeah. dead. Go back to, uh, put, uh, go at the bottom left, it says the game. I mean, here's escaping him. Uh -oh. okay. I felt like we did real well as yes, a red too. They have no idea how to play. They've never played before. Like, I, I, I was just listening, they've never played before. Uh, well, we tried, sorry guys.